all right guys so welcome back to far cry primal i've been so excited to get back into this game i've i've actually been on vacation and the first episode was technically oh my god what is this Okay, I've lost my train of thought and I'm now quite nervous. I thought I would be safe in my own little camp here, but apparently we're not. Anyways, about eight days ago, I recorded the first part. It was so much fun and you guys uh, seem to have absolutely enjoyed it. So I'm back home. It's about to rain. I'm looking through my window right now. It is extremely, extremely dark outside and it's like 12 o'clock p.m so i'm super pumped to be playing this game it's raining we're in a prehistoric stone age world i don't think it gets better than this boys and best of all we okay can this intro just get any crazier i mean jesus christ this game just keeps on giving so we've got two missions here that we can do i'm gonna go ahead and go to this one just to kind of change things up a little bit and then we'll go to the other one um, just because we've done more missions with her. So we'll go right over here. This guy's a little crazy. <laughs> He's kind of crazy. Shrash, shrash, bow shaugas, winjayisu dijam, ma sanquai dausa. Ah, daiwa damshi, hakrapi shayu kwayaka. Okay, so build your village. Your village is a safe haven for Winja. Upgrade huts to unlock skills, weapons, and more. Find the hut resources across the land of Oros. Okay, so press and browse the village and pack menus for more info. When you have enough resources, go to the village and look for upgradable huts. Rewards for the upgrade one. So you get uh, missions for Tensei and uh, some sh shaman skills and 1,500 XP. Go ahead and upgrade that. Right now, what we're doing is basically building an army of sorts, right? I really enjoy the uh, the language that this game has. I know it's kind of like a fictional language. It's completely made up for this game itself, but it's really nice. So let me see here. Can I keep up? Ooh, population plus 10. And of course, as we continue, we should be able to see more and more people here just taking over, taking over the real estate. So let me see. We've also got some brand new skills. We should have a couple of points, three points. So there's a couple of things we can upgrade here. So we've got survival skills. We've got gathering skills and we've got beast master. The most important thing right now is probably going to be extra health. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. We're also probably going to go and heal while sprinting may actually come in handy as well what say that again hmm. dude that language is so cool i wonder if they ever came out with like some sort of dictionary to learn that language <laughs> that is freaking cool all right so now we got to upgrade oh gosh so we need some deer skin all right perfect you know what i got this we should have some deer around here let's go see if we can hunt some deer hold on i remember in the last episode we definitely had some deers in this territory just got to be careful. Okay. Got some birds. Are those deers over there? <laughs> Kill them! <laughs> well, I will say uh, that was a little bit embarrassing, but I, I will pet you for that one because you did your job. But... Uh, I expected better from you, sir. This deer almost outskilled you. Oh, hold on. We'll do this one the old fashioned way. Go ahead and follow it. I really like how simple the hunting has been made in this game. I mean, it's not too complex. 
but at least for the deers and the basic sort of animals that we need at the beginning of the game everything seems to be pretty self-explanatory i mean i've played some survival games that just make things so complicated and these animals tend to be so damn hard to kill but i appreciate that a simple bow and arrow can get things done for the meantime that is what is this what does this do oh ignite the arrow all right so i think i'm pretty good i think we should be set now go this way i like how eventually over the course of you know the last hour and a half that we've been playing this game this area already looks completely different Top cut. we are improving my friends ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> mission for sela the gatherer Okay. Gatherer skills, sense camouflage, fireproof, and speed boost food recipes. Free items in your reward stash. Okay, so we should have a mission now. From her directly, correct? Yes. Oh. Oh, that looks nice. Udam Shayar Guama Guayam. That looks awesome. Tu Sai. I should touch his laha. Malashata. Calm it down. You're scaring me a little bit there. She sounds cynical as hell. Now you get to kill them with their own weapon. Beastmaster. <laughs> She's like friggin' brainwashing me. I like it. So the following day. The daily resources. We should have more daily resources there. But I stashed up before starting to record. So we should be A-OK. -okay. Seems like today is going to be a day of war. Melee combat. Yeah, we're probably going to get... Yep. There goes clubs are fast weapons that can hit multiple targets in one swing spears are slow and powerful and hit directly in front of you they're more efficient when thrown hold rt uh then let go for the heavy attack stun enemies and deal high damage burning weapons and held in front of you burning weapons are held in front of you instead when you want to udam shanti hasa Oh shit. My marchasar winja who like wa Shuta Marita Oh god. Well that was anticlimactic. That's the guy we're after, ultimately, right? Attack the Udam. Okay. Let's do this. Where are they? They're coming from over there. Oh, uh, the front gate is under attack. Uh, all right, there we go. Send the beast. To do the dirty work we should be all right oh they've got oh my god Ow! 
Oh, fuck. All right, I'm going back to the club. Screw this. Attack. No, attack. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. Oh, they've got like smoke bombs or something, huh? There's another one over here. Look at this asshole. Hiya! Wait, that that did it. What the fuck is that? <gasps> he poisoned me. You can be poisoned by bee stings, snake bites, or by rot fumes outside of the Udam homeland. Some Udams will also throw poisonous bombs at you. Poison will drain your health, but eventually wear off. There must be an antidote recipe somewhere in this world. Well, that's fucked. Okay, I have been poisoned. They have killed my beast. Unbelievable. There you go, bud. There you go. You'll be all right. You'll be just fine. Damn, I'm sorry. We we won that battle, but I, I feel like we got our asses kicked. I feel like I got absolute. What is? Wolf doesn't know if he wants to run or take a piss. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, so we're gonna go to their camp now. Oh, this is this is kind of dangerous. It's ballsy right here. Their camp is all the way over there. Okay, cool. You know what? No problem. This is exactly what we signed up for. Oh, that's sweet. That's freaking sweet. I like how we can see the resources now on the mi on the mini map. It's pretty awesome. I wonder if there's any like water predators as well that can attack us. That'd be fun. I forgot the name of the documentary, but it was basically a Disney documentary about a chimp. Oh, God. And it was kind of crazy because they documented, uh, documented perfectly how two families of chimps hated one another and would actually attack each other's territory, which was kind of crazy. I don't know. Just seeing animals behave that way to me is is pretty remarkable i wish i could remember the name of it so i can give it to you guys you'd probably watch it i think a lot of you would probably enjoy it but anyway since i don't remember i probably should have even mentioned it but uh whatever let's go here we are let's do this you sons of bitches i was using the wrong club or no this is the right club okay good oh! Uh, uh. Alright, we're getting closer here. It's right across this. I'm assuming once we clear this out, we can probably make this another fast travel point. Which would be pretty sweet. As we are in a completely different area. So we've got stealth here. We can throw rocks to distract Crouch with B. See if we can kill this guy here. Yes. Wait, do I have the ability to pick up the... Oh, shit. Pick up the body. Drop it right there. Thank you, sir. You are dead, punk. Is that how that works? Just burning it? I think so, right? Yep. Nice. Let's go. I think it's just better if we do this this way. Just get a little crazy with it. Versus trying to sneak around. I mean, whatever. I think I'd, I, I probably enjoy this more in this Far Cry versus the previous ones. Because in the previous one, you've got people with weapons and shit. Like guns that can hit you from afar. The most they've got here is probably spears and a couple of bow and arrows. Which, I'm not really too scared of that. Nice. 
I shot that man right in the nuts. Excellent. Precision. Alright, we'll go ahead and burn this. Hold on, I need to get some fire going here. Sweet. That's one. And the last one's gonna be right over here. And that's two. Nice. Alright, perfect. Somebody else coming this way. Oh, I've got a surprise for his ass. Come here, bitch. Oh my god. The savagery. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I had to feed you some meat for that one. You animal. I love it. Oh, there's more coming still. These guys just don't stop. Oh, there's one on this side here. Can I go up here? Right, let me see if I can... Can I reach him this way? Oh, nice, dude. Very nice. Attack of the Udam. Uda Mari Ul Atikwaifa Apa Laiwam Haya Shadja Palhu Winja Marirs Shadja Palhu Uda Mari Hey, hey, Baltasha. What the fuck is she doing? Shaus, Uls, Dawson. Sana Kwaida Shanshi, Parishai. Salwa, Winja Marwa. Machi, Sami Kartichi Napa. These are the new recruits. This <laughs> set of twins right here. Winja <laughs> Winja Winja. Well, that's the main bad guy. Lost Winja. Okay, so I'm missing Winja with unique skills. We're last seen in the marked regions. Search the Odos and bring these skilled Winja to our new village. All right, cool. So, entering village. Okay, these three areas right here. So, those are the Winjas that uh, we see here under the skills trees. There's five of them in total. All right, well, it's safe to say that we're doing pretty terrible right now. That was definitely not what we expected. Wow. I think we've got a new mission with this guy over here. Let's go. Let's go see what he says. We have to go and discover different parts of the land, but I believe we actually have a mission right over here. Ah, Warbadi. Uguan. Tishayu. Gasu. Oh, whoa, what are you doing? What is this man doing? Yo, this guy drinks anything. What's on the menu today, boys? Eyeballs. Sounds delicious. This is the guy that allows us to tame the beasts and stuff, so. Okay. The vision of ice. Find the stone woman statue. Yeah, 
This is so trippy. Oh god. Wow. My clapper. My clapper. My clapper. My clapper. My clapper. My clapper. Hey, what? This is cool. All right, where do I go? Am I going down here? I think so. Hey, this is a pretty cool club. Oh, God. Damn, I can't even throw rocks here. Oh! Oh! Oh, damn. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of OP right now. Oh, shit. I'm kind of a big deal. I feel so bad. Oh my god, I feel terrible. Get out of here. <laughs> oh shit. You want some too, bitch? Alright, hold on. I'm thinking we, we've got to go towards the line here. Oh, this is awesome, bro. This has been one of the most um, funnest experiences in this game. These these visions within these dreams. It's been super cool. And who are these guys? Oh, God. Uh, okay. Oh, fuck. Ow! Fuck! Can I kill him? What is happening? What drugs are these people on? Bro, what the hell is this? <laughs> That's exactly what we were looking for, right? The woman statue. Sweet. More people to go. I've always enjoyed that. Right, let's keep going. I don't think I can use a uh, bow and arrow. I don't know if I can take these guys out. Oh shit. Oh, okay. So we can throw the. Can I throw the club and get it back? Oh. Well, that makes one. Hell of a difference. That works. Okay, sweet. Oh, God. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> Holy crap. It's intense. Yeah, I don't like these big guys. Those big guys don't freaking die. Not doing that. Not doing that. I get away from these guys. Oh shit, I killed him. Nice. Oh, you ain't that bad. You ain't that bad at all. Keep spamming the melee weapon. It seems to be working. Nice. Yo, the fact that you can throw this club and it just respawns in your hands. That is pretty sweet. Right, I think I, I don't even have to be here. I think I can just continue. Or do I really have to kill everyone here? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, we'll just keep going. 
I am the ultimate Beastmaster, and you will not stop me from my destiny. Does that make sense? No? Oh man, I love this feature. Just keeps respawning. That's awesome. Sweet. So we completed that. See what reward we get from it. Wife <laughs> Kalaita with a bottom trash trash Yagisu Sarta Swarga Marmari Makwadi Udam Shasquani Slak Udam Masuk near Bacham U Uda. Uda plaha guarpati. All right, I gotta need some serious, serious friggin' help. All right, one last time. Let's go ahead and speak to this chick before we get out of here. Smart kaka, brastar. Smart kaka. Takar, winja wantar, shaskau himshalla, masi waichai hatra wana. Pal hu sashwa lim hu haya, u kao hi waida tu sasakwi. Hmm. The bone cave. Quest added to the map. So somebody's gone missing. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Yo, what the hell is that, bro? Right in the face! Oh, shit. That worked out pretty nicely. Yeah, that definitely worked out pretty nicely. Oh, oh shit! Oh, God. Stop it! Oh my god. Relax. Relax. Relax, little jaguar. Relax, little buddy. Oh god. Oh, I'm becoming a beast master. Oh man, that is fucking awesome. All right, can I make this? Oh, I just made it my pet now. Yes, that's much better than this. Stupid little white wolf. Very, very nice. The wolf, uh, actually, as far as stealth, speed, and strength, it's about the same. Attacks unsuspecting targets without alerting nearby enemies. We've been walking for days, and I've come to the conclusion that I must find an animal that will aid me in my travels. Not just in my hunting, but also my travels, quite literally, because I have been running for quite some time. We've also got something here very interesting. What the hell is this? Oh shit, that's probably like some sort of mysterious animal hunt mission or something, huh? Okay, I'll be back for you. But uh, anyways, I wanted to show you. We're very close to, to, close to the main mission for the individual winger that got lost in the cave this is where we were headed and we've got this dude over here i'm very interested in this mission I, i've always enjoyed the missions where you've got to go find this individual character that got lost in the woods or inside a cave and you know he's probably dead but maybe you can save him maybe you can be the savior our people need sorts of missions so this is exactly what we have here Ooh, what happened oh shit 
the bone cave. Ah, wonder is orgy. Oh, dude, I love this. This is so freaking cool. Wow, we're going this way. We're definitely going this way. This is completely different. Like this part of the world, part of the world, excuse me, is completely different. So the northern wastes are a cold and inhospitable place. In your current clothing, you will not survive long before you freeze to death. To survive like campfires for warmth and seek out materials to craft better clothing and crafting. Set this on fire and maybe just put it in front of me. That might actually help me. Well, I am a genius. I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. Okay, so this is the campfire here. Maybe we can set one of these on fire. Um. Hmm. Or maybe not. All right, we're going into the cave, guys. I probably came in here hunting for a beast and uh, possibly died in the process. That sounds like a saber tooth. just as bad as a saber tooth. Oh my god! Oh, there goes my fucking jaguar. Dead. Just captured it, by the way. Oh my god. What? Okay, can you stop? Can you fucking stop? I'm stuck here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh my god. I killed two of them? Holy crap. Oh, I'm actually quite awesome. This man came here looking for Mufasa. And he did. That's not doing anything. What is this? It's more of his, uh, more of his belongings. Seems like. Yep. Probably came up here. Climbed up top. And this man is freaking dead, bro. Oh, he's not dead. Oh my God. Please stop. Please stop. Come here. Yeah, 
That's right, punk ass. Bro, that's a saber tooth. What is that? Oh. Oh my god. Look at him roll. Oh my god. This is epic. Holy crap. You're not gonna run away from me now. Oh god, bitch. <laughs> okay, he did. He died real quick. Bro, that's three cave lines. Oh my gosh. Heal, heal. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Fill up, fill up. Hey, this is the most badass shit. God, my heart is racing. I don't want to die to this thing. Because I know I have to do all of this crap all over again. Let me get a spear. Can I get a spear? <laughs> I killed his ass. I showed him who's boss around here. That's right. Oh my god. Seems like that saber tooth was just banging all those lionesses. What a savage. The bone cave. Oh my god, that was so cool. That is by far the best mission we've done. Well, technically for me. I... I for me, I that was so freaking cool, man. I really thoroughly enjoyed this mission. I'm so happy I decided to come over here and be a man about it and discover all of the crazy shenanigans. Look at that. Look at that saber tooth. That is beautiful. That is just absolutely beautiful. All right, so we've actually got another mission here. If we go to this guy. So bring Karush the warrior to your village he will reach he will teach you powerful takedowns and will give you better clubs and winter clothing so that's the guy we need to do uh the mission for in order to be able to travel through these lands without having to have a club on hand okay what the fuck was that oh that's like an ox or something i don't know man you know i don't want to find out i don't want to mess with these prehistoric creatures where's my uh can i Can I recall it if I I literally skinned it? What the hell? Didn't I skin that animal? Yo, that's hilarious. I'm pretty sure I skinned the jaguar when it died. But hey, you know what? That's fine. And that's funny. That's funny, honey. Alright, let's go down here. Let's let's talk to this guy. No. Don't mess with me, you stupid. Yeah, this club is definitely going to be my best friend when it's on fire. Just set it out in front of you like this and people don't even want to mess with you. A brother in need. Bring Karush the warrior to your village. Bring 
Kosaki Haita. Oh, the wing jet warrior. Okay, where is he? Okay, he's probably in. Oh, shit. Who's he fighting? Oh, don't worry about this, man. Oh, shit. I should probably turn off the fire. Yep. Oh, shit. That's him. I'm sorry. Resources. Okay, what is this? Ignite the club. Man, I don't know if I want to be crazy like you. Oh, he killed a fool. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna get attacked now. Okay, fine. We just gotta kill him and that's right. Oh shit. So move the Udon bodies into the campfire. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this game. Time to burn some bodies, boys. That's right. Oh my god. The sheer destructional power on that swing was fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna drop this body here. coming <laughs> hey that was quite the aim he hit him right in the forehead oh my god nice apparently the other body didn't go on the flames what the hell was that all about oh sweet no i love the takedowns they feel so vicious there's my beast just eating the guy's uh, testes. That's, that's delicious. This is so cool, man. What a cool game. Just a bunch of weird prehistoric shit going on. Now we just got to kill the warriors. I will call upon my beast to kill him. This dude is throwing a sling at me. What the hell is that? Nice. Nope. Not today, punks. That's my Jaguar, damn it. The pack is almost full of green leaves. Cool, this is a like a true barbarian. Freaking intense. There's more coming. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, what? You killed my Jaguar, you bastard. Okay, I'll skin him and then I'll revive him later. Seems to be some sort of hack in this game, maybe. Oh my god. 
gotta revive the Jaguar. There we go, buddy. You're gonna be just fine. Nice. You'll be just fine. I really, really like how I can just replenish the arrows. If not, I think I'd be going crazy for arrows here. Nice. I think that kill was a combination of my beast and this guy helping out. This guy's intense. I love him. Winjara, Narta, Lajarsh. Hmm. All right, the brother in need. Well, that was friggin' cool, man. Population 15. Nice. The fast travel is available on the map. Highlight. Okay, so does that mean that guy just went all the way? Is he back in our camp? Yes, he is. Oh my god! Did you see the Jaguar? <laughs> oh, we killed the fucking guy we were trying to help. Well, that was stupid. Damn it, you stupid jaguar. We've already brought him to our village, so we've got more reinforcement, more people. Doing pretty good. We're probably going to upgrade his hut, maybe, perhaps. All right, sweet. So we've got the Warrior Skills, the 200 Club, and Winter Clothing. Unite the Winja. So Winja are scattered across the land of Udos. Udos. Find and rescue them to grow your village population. Okay, so press back and select the village menu to see your village population. As your population grows, you can build new huts and upgrade them. Unlock skills, weapons, and crafting recipes. Oh, here it tells me how many upgrades we've got per... Oh, sweet. I wonder if I can upgrade it through here. We've got 15 people. <laughs> that is... Oh, hold on. That just changed. Hold on. That just changed. No, we still got 15 people. Okay, so what about the skills? Well, here we go. There's a brand new takedown. Jump or fall onto an enemy below you. That is actually extremely... Extremely helpful. Yeah, we can do that. That sounds fun. Press. We're going to take down. Then press R2 to throw a shard at a second enemy. You must have shards to use this. Aiming sways greatly reduce. And clubs and spears. Oh, wow. That's cool. All right, let's speak to this guy. Mission added to map. So let me take a look at the map here. I think that's actually... Oh shit, that's all the way over here. So it says, save a mammoth, mount the beast, and trample the Odam hunters. Uh, I think we're going to call it quits here. I also think that for the... Ooh, can I go up here? Yes. I also think that for the next episode, we're probably going to upgrade the taming skills tab a bit more. Because we are headed a little bit further into the map, so I'm assuming we're going to encounter 
much better beasts, if you will. So I definitely want to look into taming some different uh, wild animals on the next episode. And of course, continuing the story. But uh, that cave mission was so incredibly awesome that uh, I wish I could redo it again. That was insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Far Cry Primal. Of course, if you did, drop it a like. And uh, that lets me know you guys would like to see more. So thanks for watching. And I will catch you on the next one.